So the other day someone asked on the YouTube comments, how many achievements do I have? And um, it's not really something I keep track of anymore because I did the entire set back when I had a different uh, account. And then I created the new account and didn't feel like uh, starting over, uh, you know, doing it all again and, and keeping track. So there's a lot of the sort of um, base pack and pack two achievements that I did before that I still don't have. But it got me thinking uh, as an idea for a video, what if I tried to do a run where I got five achievements in one go? Now that actually would be fairly easy, you know, if there's a new pack comes out, especially since the golden pack has loads of uh, economy pets, you could probably get five, you know, pretty easily in the golden pack itself. But I thought, right, let's try, let's see what I have left from uh, pack one. So here on screen is the pack I ended up going with. And there's a few obvious candidates. We've got cat uh, for scaling, we've got sea lion, um, but then we've also got some economy pets like uh, sauropod and hamster, silver fox. I don't have monkey somehow, um, but I, I wanted some, I wanted to try and get some of the other ones. Like there's deer there, there's uh, uh, antelope, and there's some much weaker pets like um, aardvark and, uh, and flycatcher. And my initial strategy was I tried to tried to go with multiple tier ones because you're very you know you're very likely to be able to get them to to level three early. However, in custom packs, you know they they fall off a lot harder than they do in the in the separate packs. So I had a, quite a few goes with um, iguana and moth together, and. Iguana isn't in this final version of the of the pack because it was just not doing anything. Like I was very rarely getting matched with uh, summon teams that um, the iguana would do any damage to. So eventually, I just gave up. There were a couple of funny rounds where I had iguana and uh, flycatcher, and they they went crazy. But it's just so rare. So in the end, I decided, you know, we're just going to have to compromise. That's basically what their custom packs is like these days. You know you can't um, you you can't just play the way you want to play. Uh, you you know you have to somehow uh, follow um, the meta as it were. So here I've got Moth, and I decided Moth was probably the tier one that made the most sense. You know it's it's got a, a relevant ability for a long time, and um, you can see here it makes you know it gives the capybara a much better attack. So it can potentially um, one-shot something at the front. Uh, we get Poison Dart Frog here on the level, and Dart Frog was one of the ones I was thinking about as well, but I, I really just don't think it's very good. Um, it uh, One of its problems is that, although you can sometimes get it to snipe a whole bunch of times, um, it, it's always shooting whatever has the highest health. So without like weakness you're very rarely killing anything you're just spreading tiny amounts of damage onto lots of big units um so it was in the pack but in the end i i don't think i had any serious attempts with it so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a custom pack run without someone playing um, a horse team a horse team with pack one units um i don't i still i'll never understand it but here we get the silver fox which in the first first like sort of phase of my attempts at this, I didn't use um, Silver Fox at all. And obviously, you know, you, if you were doing this yourself, um, you would probably think, okay, I'm going to start with a Swan or a Weasel. But obviously, both of those are ones that I already had the achievement for because you know, the gold pets kind of um, you know they 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 automatically level up faster than everything else because you're getting so much uh, gold to play with. So of, of those left, I, I knew I had Silver Fox. I had a, quite a few attempts with Sauropod as well. Um, just Sauropod, not Silver Fox. But um, it, it just wasn't uh, cutting it. So here we're, we're slightly unlucky there with the, uh, the break points and we lose another turn. So we're down to three hearts. And Fire Ant, I think I already have. Um, so that was just in there as a, as a fill. So we'll take the octopus for a bit of uh, stats and we'll buy sell crow. We're basically 
you know, we're all we're looking to, for every single blobfish, every single crow is almost a must buy. Um, especially while the silver fox's stats are low because we're not getting the huge amount of uh, gold. It's only going to get one attack normally. So um, I think, it, is it plus four, plus three for level two? I'm not sure. But here we're actually lucky enough to get a draw. Thankfully I didn't sell the zebra because sometimes I just sell it out of habit. Um, and we'll get the monkey because a new monkey was on the list. And there were uh, there were some other runs where I did um, I, I tried doing like a banana pill on the blobfish to give me give myself more chance. And here we get uh, tapir, no good. I don't think I have the level three tapir achievement, but for the builds I was considering, it was never going to be uh, in the cards to use uh, tapir. I did have one game where I had uh, like almost a 50-50 deer, and I had the antelope as well, but. The, the scaling on the rest of the team just wasn't uh, wasn't good enough to survive in the custom packs uh, shark infested waters. So there we do get two triggers this time from the um, silver fox. So we'll, we'll, we can check now how much gold that actually gave. So it's giving two gold per trigger, I think, which is good. So we get another monkey here and a crow. So we buy the sauropod first to get the refund on the chocolate. So th this is ultimately what I decided was the best course of action, and that was stacking as many economy pets as I could. So um, otherwise, it's you, you can get to the end, and you're just nowhere near getting. Uh, you know, you you have to start winning eventually, and it, without the economy pets, uh, that team actually had Hammer Shark, and Hammer Shark I think I already have the level three of. Without the economy pets, you just you cannot get enough chocolate um, even if you keep rolling chocolate you just don't have the gold to spend on it um, so it was, it was really lucky I guess in the end that I actually still had sauropod and uh, and um, uh, silver fox to do I did have it did have hamster as well but um, ham hamster is slightly different because you can only spend the extra gold on rolls um, so although it is it is very good um there were times where it just wasn't uh um you know working out so here i actually surprisingly don't have the cat um uh i don't i i guess cat is level two is just so strong you're generally winning before you need you get anywhere near level three anyway um but i was kind of surprised that i hadn't at some point done like alpaca get two level two cats and combine them Maybe I just always kept them separate. Um, so we get the melon, get a little bit of refund from the sauropod, and here we're just using up all three triggers, and then we combine the sauropods to reset the trigger count. So that means we can save even more money this turn. So now we get two gold back, and we find another sauropod, and I think I get another one on oh, very soon. So I'm just freezing stuff up, um, because I'd, ra I'd rather buy chocolate than buy the pet because obviously we can get money back that way. Um, but I also am I'm, I'm acutely aware that I need as much scaling as possible to try and survive some of the crazy teams that you can face in uh, customs. So this team has the, uh, you get the nested summons where it's um, Beluga summons, uh, <laughs> Eagle summons Orca, summons Badger, I think it was. So even level one cat is gonna is gonna make a big big difference here with it. Plus six six we get from the um, uh, from the chicken leg, and that that with uh, sauropod and moth having cheese, um, all you need to do is get the attack above thirty five. Um, now that that's that's assuming you don't get weakened. But if you don't get weakened, having attack of thirty five means with cheese it's seventy. So you're guaranteed to kill through melon. Obviously, it doesn't do anything against uh, pepper, but um, I, I just I don't know what it is. I just feel like uh, I, I prefer uh, using cheese than um, than pepper. So here is um, yeah, a bit of a. Normally, I would be very afraid when the when I see a higher a higher level Highland cow, but. 
Thankfully, the scaling that we've got going is high enough that uh, we could uh, defeat that team. So now the Silver Fox is kind of wasting the monkey buffs. So we'll um, double combine the sauropod to um, get the level up and reset the triggers again. Now here I use, because the moth has 36 health, I used the lollipop because the actual attack doesn't really matter, like I was saying, unless you get weakened. And we'll use the another chocolate and give the cat cheese this time. And then um, I think that's the, the triggers for the sauropod used up again. Could be wrong though. Maybe there's one left? No, there's not. But we've got the monkey frozen. We All we need is one more cat or chocolate and then uh, two more monkeys or two, or two more chocolates on top of that. So with all the gold we're getting back, the chances are very high we're going to find them. And here we actually match up with uh, Toonie for the bus. I'd actually, he this was recorded on the day that he was streaming for the first time. And I was on the stream complaining about uh, my attempts to get this. And, uh, and then in the evening I tried it again and got matched against him. So... Um, uh, I'll put a link to his channel below if you want to uh, go and subscribe. I'm sure he'll be streaming again sometime soon. Uh, it was fun uh, watching him play. Uh, he was going for achievements as well with uh, smallest slug and things like that. So here we actually get, uh, although we don't get ma many stats, we get a, a great turn where we find another monkey and another chocolate. And the l really, at this point, we were less concerned about get adding stats to the team and more concerned about... Um, finding the uh, the last level up it would be i think it would be unbelievably unlucky to not find it given the uh given the um the, the fact that sauropod can uh, refund and it, we actually get the uh um the um the chocolate in the shop naturally um and we're just rolling down for more buffs uh, 12 12 from a chicken leg it's so strange seeing a full team of uh, of tier uh, of level threes with no alpaca. Even with alpaca, generally you don't have a full team of level threes because you have to sell the alpaca in the end, and, and so the final uh, the final unit won't be uh, won't be high level. And the monkey tops off the cat to be 50-50. and we get matched with a level three Highland cow that gives fifty trumpets. But actually, our stats are good enough, and the cheese makes sure that the uh, the retriever gets one shot. So now we can just sit and watch as the five achievement pop-ups show up one after the other. We got monkey, moth. Never actually noticed that it shows them in order left to right. So there's sauropod, and it should be the fox next. Yep, and the cat. So there we go, uh, a five achievement run and having used up those five pets, I'm not sure how easy it would be doing this again.